eleven eighteen in the morning, Thursday, September eighth, two zero two two. Queen Elizabeth the second is dead. She dies actually. Queen Elizabeth the first dies at the age of ninety six. Charles is now King Charles of England. He succeeds his Queen Mum at this point. And the world is mourning the loss of Queen E. It's hard for me dealing with an anniversary like this because a lot of things happening that would want me to Try to celebrate a day of a science fiction theme, but then personally I'm dealing with an anniversary of a loss, and then physically I have to deal with a loss because now Queen Mum is now entering the gates of heaven, and everything else is turning out to be insane I am having a hard time right now I've got CNN talking about bits and pieces about Queen Elizabeth's life and right now I am having issues just dealing with this I was supposed to be dealing with my brother's passing and the anniversary of it four years ago and it's just not happening because I have to deal with the passage of Queen Mum this has been the most aggravating of days and this I'm having an issue with I'm supposed to get this place cleaned up and I can't because of now I'm not, but I have to get off my dead ass and clean this place. I'm going to have to stretch it out for another week if I have to, but it's bad enough dealing with my brother's anniversary and usually takes me about a couple of days to get past the damn depression, but this situation with Queenie I'm going to be doing something I'd rather not be doing at this point, but this hurts too damn much. So at this point, I asked management for another week extension. It gives me a little bit of breathing room to mourn, but it also gives me a little more time to get things squared away, hopefully, if it's allowed. If it nuts, I still need to get shit going, and it's probably going to have to be either later this afternoon or well in the morning tomorrow. I need to get cleanup going, but I also need to get shopping going, and I am not doing very well. An anniversary time when it comes down to where the death of my family usually leaves a hell of a lot of emotional damage. And now hearing about Queen Elizabeth I dying or actually passing on today it has been the most difficult of mornings the irony about today was dealing with a bit new behavioral therapist to talk to regarding my problems it gave me a solution uh, temporary solution for some things a little exercise breathe inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth about ten minutes slowly but I doubt that's going to help regarding this morning situation. After I got off the phone with my with my therapist, then I'm dealing with the death of Elizabeth, and it's it's like, when is it ever going to end? 
You know, today should have been a day for celebrating this damn lexicon. This damn icon. You know, if the video was on, I was going to be wearing this thing and being acting like a damn idiot. Here, let me show you. All right. See? Now I'm a Trekkie. This is a Trekkie. This is a supposed to be a Trekkie kind of day, right? And yet I'm dealing with a lot of emotional turmoil right now that I can't even deal with. Charles becomes king. And Queen Elizabeth is dead. Queen Mum. All my life it's been Queen Mum. Queen Elizabeth. And 56 years. 56 years. I'm torn apart, okay? I'm, I'm dealing with this, and it's hard. This is so... I'm tearing myself apart over this thing. I'm going to shut down the certain areas in this household. I just can't deal. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm, I can't deal with this morning.